Hello everyone, today we're going to get started on the latest NFT game Plant vs Undead, all commonly known as PBU. I'm super excited about it as I've played Plant vs Zombies years back. I'm going to show you how to get started and the minimum you need is 5 PBU tokens, which is essentially roughly about $55 USD. Before we begin, I'd just like to remind everyone that this is not financial advice and is purely for entertainment and sharing based on my own research and experience. Alright, so to get started, essentially you will need a cryptocurrency account and I'm using Binance. Uh, I, have no, I won't be demonstrating how to get a crypto today, but I'll include a couple of video links below in case you need them. So let's open Chrome now, and you will first have to add the MetaMask extension uh, to Chrome. So essentially, just go ahead and type. Click on MetaMask, and simply click Add to Chrome. All right, add the extensions. So once this is added to Chrome, essentially, it's over here. And you can just click Get Started. And if you have done this before, you can go ahead and use a secret recovery phrase. Otherwise, just get create a wallet. All right, up to you whether you want to join, key in your password. Okay, and they're going to teach you about how to use your recovery phrase. Okay, so now your secret recovery phrase is safely copied. Click All Done. Okay, so now that your MetaMask account is set up, we need to link it to the Binance Smart Chain. So what we do, go to plantversusundead.com, scroll right down to the bottom, actually, under their social, there's a this link to their Discord channel. In their Discord channel, essentially go to how to buy. And basically, this is where we are at. Step two, at BSC Network. We have already finished step one. Okay, so when you go to your MetaMask account right now, essentially go over to here, click custom RPC, and then fill in the details as per the Discord channel. So Binance Smart Chain, URL, chain ID, currency symbol, and this, and then press save. All right. So once that is done, we need to calculate how many BNB tokens that we will need. You can go to CoinGecko, search for PBU BNB, and essentially you'll find a conversion rate. So currently we need 5 PBU. Uh, that means we need 0.135 BNB. You need to round this up a little bit, uh, maybe by another 10% in order to have enough BNB for transaction fees. So we'll be transferring about 0.25 BNB. Go ahead and transfer that now. And when you're done, essentially your MetaMask account will show that you have 0.25 BNB in your wallet. All right. So with that, essentially the next thing to do uh, according to Discord, is to purchase PVU. So by clicking on this link, all right, and now we'll need to link your, connect your MetaMask wallet to PancakeSwap. So we're going to press connect wallet with MetaMask. Pop-up will appear over here. Ah, let's select a currency first. Mm. Click understand, import. Okay, so you can see that there's 0.25. We are not going to use all of it. Okay, so we're going to transfer 0.1, convert 0.15 into about 5.4 PVU. So go ahead and press swap. All right, they will come output this estimated. Let's go ahead and press confirm swap. You need to confirm the transaction in your wallet. Just double check that the details are correct and press confirm. Transaction is done. Add PVU to MetaMask. All 
add a token and close. All right, so now if you go to your MetaMask account, you'll see that you have 5.4 PBU as well as 0 0.0993 PMB, what's left. We'll need this for transaction fees. Okay, so now go ahead and go to Plant vs Undead. What you need to do is press Farm. Log in with MetaMask. Inside, and there we go. You have your 5.4 PBU in Plant vs Undead, as well as whatever BNB you have left. So go to Farm, and we are ready to do some farming. So what we're going to do is to, con first thing is to convert your PVU into LE, Light Energy. Go ahead and convert PVU to LE. So one PVU is 70 LE at the moment. You need a minimum of five. Anything less than five, they won't allow you to do this conversion. Go ahead and press Convert. Sign the order in your MetaMask account. And as you can see, there's actually a fee of uh, 0.000337. That's why you need some BNB left in your MetaMask account. Okay, don't press anything during this period. Just let it do its magic. And uh, once the transaction is confirmed, we'll check back in again. Okay, success. Transaction is processing. Just need to hang on. Okay, click anywhere outside. So the light energy has come in. They haven't de done the deduction yet. So what we're going to do is just to refresh, just to make sure everything's okay. Should be left with 0 0.41, 350. Now it's time to get started. We have 350 light energy. And the first thing we're going to do actually is to go and claim our land. So just go to the second part here, at the right at the bottom, shop underneath, click on that. And you have one piece of land here to claim. Go ahead and claim. All right, you have claimed a default land successfully. And you can see right at the bottom here that this piece of land that you have can hold one mother tree and five plants. All right, so what we're going to do is to select our land. Ding. We have no assets, as you can see. So the first thing we actually need to do after we do this is to go back to the shop. And we are going to buy, first of all, one small pot. So go ahead and buy. Just click once. Confirm. Successful. What we're going to do is to buy one set of water. 100 waters. Okay. You can use it 100, 100 times rather. And finally, we're going to get one scarecrow that you can use 20 times. All right. Last but not least, go to the sunflower. And you can see that basically you have a sunflower sapling that will take three days to grow. And after three days, it will actually give you 250 LE, light energy, versus a sunflower mama that actually takes six days to grow. And this mama will actually give you 850 LE over six days. So based on our calculations that we have done actually starting with a mama and then moving on to a sapling six days later uh, seems to work out with better roi but that's just uh, something that we worked out there's also this thing called the sun box and if you choose to buy it uh, basically it's a gamble you could have a 30 percent chance to get um, 70 le worth of crows and water otherwise you have a uh, 30% chance to get two small pots, 30% chance for one sunflower sapling, 9.9% chance to get one sunflower mama, and a 0.1% chance to drop a seed. So seeds are incredibly precious, uh, but we will cover that in the next video. So essentially, let's not gamble because we only have 300, 230 LE left. We're just going to spend it all by one sunflower mama. Confirm. All right, with that done, your shopping is completed and we can go back to our piece of land again, right here, click on it, 
click again, select, select it and go to sunflower. You have your sunflower mama here. Select and you have created your farm. All right. So essentially click back and you see your sunflower mama here at a pot. Click on it. You see it highlighted in white. Press use one time. The pot is added over here. And now we need to add water. So just click water two times. One, two. All right, so the grass is green. Uh, essentially, that is it. Uh, be sure to check in to your office your plant every few hours. Essentially, you just need to water your plant once within a 24 hour period. And then when you come in and to check in on your sunflower mama, you might see a crow sitting over here. So what a crow does, uh, it comes every between every two to 10 hours, there's a 10% chance that a crow will arrive on your plant. If the crow sits on your plant, essentially the timer will stop. So you won't be able to um, basically get your plant growing. So you need to come in uh, and then if you see a crow over here, just select your plant and press use one time and the crow will disappear. All right, that's it for now. We hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, getting started on your path to becoming a plant versus undead tycoon. Thank you very much. Check you out in the next video.